It's the Metal Moose Radio podcast radio thing. You can find us at www.themetalmoose.com. Every week, we get our asses here to the OKC Music Box. We get behind microphones. We play bands you've probably never heard, but you need to hear. And we do it live. And we get on Facebook, and we, I show my ugly face, and Squirrel smiles her pearly whites. To, she's got a huge <laughs> fan club. Um, and we do this, and it is now 8.21 p.m. in the Central Standard Time Zone. And welcome to the Metal Moose Show. We have Becca Warren. Becca's got a whole, like, event going on, some sort of... Becca, you'll have to remind me of your events, like a Halloween concert thing going on in Broken Arrow, I think. We might oh, really? try to venture up to that. Uh, D- uh, Donna Johnson's also here with us. And also, since last time we were on the show, we have to uh, uh, announce... <laughs> what? Moose Fest returns to Tulsa. Yes, Moose Fest is in Tulsa, October the 1st. October 1st at the Downtown Lounge. Downtown We've got Lounge. Machine in the Mountain. We've got the Silver Screen Monsters, Atris, Blackwater Rebellion, and Blindside 2020. It's going to be an awesome show. That's a good mix of music. And I'm going to be there, so, you know. Well, I hope you're there. Uh, Donna said, love you guys. I love you too, Donna. Um, so you want to go to Moose Fest, number one, listen to the show because we're going to give away some tickets before the night's over. Also, you can buy tickets right now uh, to Moose Fest, October 1st at the Downtown Lounge. Just go to www.themetalmoose.com. Go to the Donate page, and there's a Donate button. $8 is all you have to pay for a ticket. Now, $8 is pretty inexpensive. Well, think for about five it. bands... Right, five bands, a box. You and can't beat it. It's also very important to note that all of the money that comes through the door goes directly to the bands. Yes. So this isn't uh, me being a promoter, putting a bunch of money in my pocket. This money goes to the bands. We're about supporting the bands and not ourselves. Um, so go please buy a ticket. Uh, now listen here, if you don't want to buy one online, you can come to the door, and it's going to be $10 at the door. Uh, which is two dollars a band. I mean, if you think about that, yeah, that's, it's two dollars a band. I mean, that's really inexpensive. That's and definitely dirt money. Definitely worth it. You will get every dime out of it. So not only do we have the uh, Moose Fest Tulsa coming up, we have the uh, Monster Ma- Monster Mash Music Bash. That's what I'm saying. It's in Broken Arrow. Just look it up on Facebook and look up Becca Warren. Uh, she's going to take care of you as far as the Monster Mash thing. Um, but yeah, we're going to give away some Moose Fest tickets real quick. I want to tell you a story. We're going to get back to this after the first song. But a man decided that he um, was fed up with the United States. And he was going to show everybody by setting the American flag on fire. We're going to find out about this intelligent human being a little bit later in the show. That's not even original. It's totally not original at all. I mean, that's stupid. But... It's not original. It's not original, but it's pretty awesome what happened. So you're going to love that. we got a man <laughs> setting flags on fire. Backfired. <laughs> and And listen, I also wanted to tell everybody that's watching right now, um, Jessica Sosbo, did I get it? I'm not sure what she's asking, uh, so I'll get with her during the break. Sosbo was one of the most awesome people. She helps make flyers. Um, I had something to say, and I don't remember. Oh, yeah. If you're watching this show right now and you like country music, we also do a country music show, but it's not me. It's Squirrel and Smash. And The last show was called uh, 50 Shades of Squirrel. 50 Shades of Squirrel. Me. 50 Shades of Me. And it's uh, <laughs> it's an interesting one. I don't I promise know if anybody can handle 50 Shades of Me. That's... I know I can't. <laughs> it's the Moose at the Moosehead Studio in Oklahoma City at the Box. You're listening to The Metal Moose.
<laughs> it's the Metal Moose Radio Show. So we were talking about a guy who decided that he was so fed up with the United States he was going to burn an American flag. So he he's right. in a large group of people. He's going to burn the flag. So he's a large group? like Yeah, he gets into a large or... group. I, I don't know if it's like a protest or whatever, but okay. he uh, go ahead and lights the flag on fire. But while he's doing it, he sets himself on fire. <laughs> So, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. That right there is how <laughs> you show your intelligence and why people should listen to what you're doing. Wow! It's the Metal Moose Radio Show. It's uh, the Moose here with you, and across the room from me is the Fifty Shades of Squirrel. Yes, she is the brightest. <laughs> is that my name? Fifty Shades of Squirrel. Pearliest white smile of all. To, uh, people flock to your video feed to see your smile. Is that why? They are always like, "I love your teeth." My, that's true. I do. Which have, is kind of like I, I have have looked at a lot and very of white teeth. I've looked I at do. a lot I of do. women in my lifetime, and I've never been like, "There you got them teeth right there." <laughs> that's just me. You do have a lovely smile, though. Thank you. Thank I, you. I, I am not that. the smile person. Of course, there are no women flocking to see me. Yeah, but well, I don't know if there's a whole lot of women flocking to see me. But I, I know of somebody, a <laughs> female that flocks for you. Oh wow! Would I didn't like know that. Like to flock you. I didn't know that. Yes. Yes, you. I told you who wants to flock you. Oh, that one. Right. Okay. Okay. We won't go there right now, though. I mean, that's flocking now, I, awesome. I don't know if there's any females on my Facebook live feed right now. There's I don't, like 50 There's guys. one on mine that there's one on wants yours. to do some flocking. Okay. We won't talk about okay, that. Okay. So anyway. Back to my teeth. Yes, I have a great smile. White You do teeth, have a very... Well, teeth. You should work for a... Uh, a dentist or something? Yes, do commercials for dentist or I should. tooth pasting <laughs> commercials. Get there and brush my teeth every day. I should do commercials for fat people clothes. Oh, okay. Okay. Like tent awnings or us or uh, something? J- just big fat ass <laughs> shirts for fat ass people. Oh That's me. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll let you do that. Do you know how many, like, I want to go buy band shirts and I'll go look them up online and they're not big enough. I'm like, I am too fat. Oh my god. I gosh. can't even rep my favorite bands because I'm a fat ass. Well I'm not losing weight. This girth is important to me. It's part of who I am. Is that it? Yes. You're gonna hold on to it? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> you better believe that. <laughs> Flocking well, uh, fan. I'm sure you can special order band shirts if you put in a request, hey, I need this size. Or yeah, they're gonna write back uh look tubs. Sorry, I buddy. I don't think they would say that at all. I don't know. I'm just saying. I I have to disagree with. I you. have now like sullen clothing. I love them because they make shirts for fat people. But I can't even go into. They won't even let me through the doors at Abercrombie. They're like, eh, eh, Shoot. eh. unless an you're alarm unless that goes you're like off. under the age of 18, nothing fits anybody from Abercrombie. I mean, I'm just saying. I've gone in there before, and their large is like a toddler size five I have people over here telling me they love me what's happening tonight it's a great day i love you too donna thank you day. i appreciate it. i don't under this doesn't Mercury usually happen Retro gray is working in your favor okay i just well i don't know i had somebody earlier tonight sitting in this room telling me how much of a negative ass i was we so i have those days i do have those but days they happen i'm i'm pretty positive i'm usually this upbeat you're definitely the more positive of us too Yes. Out of everybody that works at... Okay, I'm going to run out of time. Just saying. I smile quite often. Well, guess, uh, and you're reading. And you tell me to be quiet? Really? I'm trying what? to read a story here about a lady who got uh, stuck in a tree. Um, <gasps> and we'll tell you about why she got stuck in this tree <laughs> here in just a few minutes. It's the Metal Moose Radio Show. More metal than Grandma's Kettle. You love it. I do. Moose.
So I was going to tell you, hey, it's the Metal Moose Radio Show. Moose and Squirrel here in the Moosehead Studios, the Oklahoma City Music Box in Oklahoma City, 8.31 p.m. Central Standard Time. I was going to tell you this story because you weren't around when we did the first Moose Fest in Tulsa. No, I was, it was not. In November, I had not started at the studio yet. Right. November of right. 2014. And here's the crazy story about it. Not only was it just a nut show, they spanked me on stage. They were covering themselves in blood. It was just crazy. Blood? Yeah. They, okay, this, wait, wait, wait. You've told me about the spanking and the, same the band, grass skirt and the hula right. and the coconut the, bra. The same but, band that what? spanked me on stage, part of their show was they had pig's blood and they <gasps> poured it all over their bodies and covered their... Tulsa wasn't quite ready for that yet but it was uh, I, <laughs> it was awesome <laughs> we had people stapling my, my face right now i'm not ready for that are you kidding me really so here's the story about it though the craziest thing is there are people that have been listening to the moose since like day one yes. and one of them was at that show i actually really? but i didn't know what they looked like so did they I, say something to you no they never talked to me and because they probably didn't know what I looked like, because the longest time I never put my picture up, so they probably didn't know what I looked like either. We well, always say you have the you have the face for radio. I have the face for radio. That right. is for sure. So I put my hands on this person's shoulders, and I was like, "Thanks for coming. I hope you had a great time." And that person was Teresa Bond, and Teresa Bond is the person who set up Moose Fest Tulsa for us. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. We've come to know each other throughout the years talking on Facebook, and I right. said, listen, I need to come back to Tulsa to make this happen, and she did it. Oh, that's great. So we can thank so Teresa. So she's been your number one fan from day one. I don't know if she's my number one fan, but she's one of the people that's listened to the Metal Moose show for over two years now. I've only been here since March, so that's what, seven months? Something like that. March, so. April, May, June, all of the shows I did before Seven you months, yeah. were pretty angry and filled with Until I got on and, and hate made you and fart vitriol. rainbows. Yeah, but so. she, Teresa, and a lot of other people listened to my hate and vitriol, and they liked it. So Well, maybe you can do a special show just <laughs> for them. <laughs> All I right, don't know. we're going back to my roots. I'm <laughs> pissed. Here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please don't. All right, so real quickly, I want to say, um, here's how you're going to win two tickets to Moose Fest in Tulsa at the Downtown Lounge on October 1st. I want a photo of you and the most creative way you can write moose on your body. It can be on your butt, can be on your feet, can be on your forehead. I want a photo. You have to send it to... Four two four six 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 seven three five six. Most creative video, or I'm sorry, most creative I was picture. Like video. Wow. I mean, I'll take a video too. But you could get into some serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> most creative moose picture wins tickets. Two tickets to Moose Fest in Tulsa on October first. For the, it's the moose. We'll be back. You are listening to the Metal Moose.
with the latest in high octane metal, Metal Moose. You've been weighed, you've been measured, you've been found wanting, Metal Moose. With the latest in high octane metal, Metal Moose. Visit them on Facebook at Metal Moose Radio for weekly podcasts and more up to date information and events. Metal Up, Metal Moose. It's the Moose on the Metal Moose Radio Show. So real quick before we get into your ideas about pictures and body hair and uh, all of that <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, I have got some interesting so ones. So this lady climbs into a tree. Um, For fun? Gets stuck in the tree. No, the chronicles continue. Dumbasses chasing Pokemon. What is it with this Pokemon stuff? Okay, so... The inventors of this game, I don't think, really think it out. Like, do you really have to climb that tree to get that Pokemon? It's not going to stay there forever. How you bad wait? is your life that you have to go chase Pokemon? Like, I uh, get it for, fun, like, six-year-olds, right? It's a fun, I mean, well, teenagers and yeah, young adults I mean, and stuff. That's fine. I guess it's a fun thing to do. I be a normal do teenager. Look at porn. Oh, I my gosh. Don't do that. Don't. I'm just saying. No, 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 don't. no, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> go chase po- Pokemon over that. But really? She, you it, would rather your teenage son chase Pokemon than look at porn? He's a growing boy. Pokemon versus porn? Hell yeah, Pokemon. Are you? What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. I mean, it's a normal, like, adolescent okay. thing to do okay, to look at. Okay, okay. You asked me as a mom. Okay, that's that's a whole different story. I'm not a teenage boy. It's so. an important <laughs> part of the teenage boy life. I don't want to know that. I'm just saying. Okay. okay so but no, I mean, how big was this tree? I don't know. All I know is that she got stuck in it. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. She's playing Pokemon, got stuck in a tree. It's the Metal Moose Show with the score absolutely not porn all day. Uh, uh, Becca says no. It's the girls are saying no to the porn. Right. Girls are saying no. The guys are saying yes. I can't imagine But why. here's the deal. Answer me this, though. All of you women are so anti-porn. Why was Fifty Shades of Grey such a success? You know, I've actually never seen that. It's like a total porn movie. Is it? Yeah. And I heard the book was actually women more love interesting. It. it was more detailed than the movie they could even make the movie. But I haven't read the book or watched the movie. I I, I Listen, here's the deal. Um, it's... Uh, but why do I want to watch somebody else doing something oh, that Oh, Becca is do? saying... Are you saying that you like porn, Becca? God bless you. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I just don't see the point of why watch somebody else do something weird and crazy. If if you can do it, do it yourself with your partner. If you can't, then it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be? I mean, I'm not going to be some contortionist and go, hey, look, let's watch some other contortionist. If I can do it, you're So you don't want to go see Cirque, Cirque du Soleil? Actually, I have seen them. I have too, but I, wait a second. You just said, why do you want to see that? I mean... But that's not... Porn. I'm just I'm just saying your reasoning against adult entertainment was well, I don't want to watch a contortionist, but you'll go okay, see no, Cirque no, du Soleil. No, no, no. I said if I was a contortionist and you want to watch a contortionist on a porn flick, why would you watch that when you can be with someone who can do that? Okay, right? well, I don't know. It's a I don't know. So moving on. Coming up next, I've got a story about a guy who broke into a car right into a parking lot. No, what do you normally do when you break into a car? Uh, you don't break into a car. I've never no, done no, no. That. I'm just saying, like, if you're a criminal, why okay, do you want to so break into a car? If I was a criminal, why would I break in the car? Either to steal the car, right? Maybe steal something out of, out the, of the car, car. Uh-huh. like money or yeah, computer right. or whatever phone that's in there. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that. Wait till you hear what this gentleman did when he broke into a car. And when he got caught, it's awesome. So, listen, we are looking for you to uh, send a photo, your most creative way to write moose on uh, your body, your foot, your butt, your forehead, wherever you want to put it. The phone number is 424-666-7356. The most creative picture gets two tickets to Moose Fest, returns to Tulsa October 1st in Tulsa at the Downtown Lounge. I'll be there. Um, I... It's 21 and over, so I don't know who all is going to be there. Just because they're 21 drinking. And over. So here's the deal. I also found this out about um, Moose Fest. This is the first time that we've ever done this in a venue where the capacity is 100 people. So it's going to sell out. Definitely. So get your tickets quickly. You can get them at themetalmoose.com. Go there. Go to the donate button. $8. You got yourself a ticket to Moose Fest. Five bands. It's amazing. And then we're going to find out about this guy who... Uh, He jacked a car. Seriously. That's crazy. Why are you shaking your head? 
He jacked a car. He broke in the car. Well, he broke in the car, and then he jacked it. And then what else? Well, I mean, you just kind of have to read be- between the lines there. Oh, oh, I get it. He you think jacked the car? He he did. Wow. And got caught. And got caught. He got caught jacking the car. The car. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. And we. Take it in to get it detailed. How do you explain that? I'm sorry. Can you make sure you get every inch of this? As a matter of fact, <laughs> just set it on fire. Just no get doubt. rid of it. Just it's the it. moose. We'll be right back. <laughs>
<laughs> it's the Moose and Squirrel here at the Moosehead Studio in Oklahoma City at the Oklahoma City Music Box. It's 8.40 p.m. Central Standard Time. So a lot of people, one of the things that gets... Um, Hey, we'll see you, Becca. Thank you so much. Uh, and we'll post a link on the page and all that stuff. But one of the things people don't understand is we have these contests and they hear the show, but the show plays in Boston and Florida and New York and California and right. Texas. Um, these contests are for everybody. The Moose Line is open 24-7, 365. Uh, and hey, if you're in California and you want to win a ticket to Moose Fest, you can do that. Uh, you can call or text the Moose Line anytime you want, 424-666-735. You can call and, uh, 7356. You can call and tell, uh, Squirrel is wanting resumes oh my for people to date. She said you have to be able to ride a mechanical bull for at least eight seconds. I just said you had to ride the bull a full eight seconds. Rob Way is here. This dude's Rob been Way. around a long time, really? too. Yeah, Shattered Sound Promotions. Okay. Good buddy. He's here with us, so yeah, man. So resumes for what? Billy Spears, my number one fan from okay. day one. We were talking about the car being air quoted jacked, right? Right. For those who don't understand that, this man broke into a car and masturbated inside okay, the well, car. Thanks for spelling that out a little bit more clearly. And Billy goes, "Car for sale, only jacked once." Only jacked <laughs> once. One time user, that's all. <laughs> One time owner. So yeah, man. I mean, I can't you like go into a that's bathroom great. at seven eleven maybe? I mean why okay. are you gonna get into a car? I wonder if it's like an ex like girlfriend or something or just someone he's really pissed off at. Could be. Why I mean, would why would you I mean, randomly pick a car to do that? In. I mean, that doesn't make I'd, sense. I just don't understand. I mean, I'm going to go mean, somewhere else, a little bit more private. I would not definitely with do windows. something. But if you're going to if you're going to break in someone's car, to me, it just seems like, oh, hey, this is someone I really don't like or upset with. This is just some random person's car. I that don't. Would but really see, that doesn't upset. enter my mind when I'm mad at somebody. I'm going to show them sons of bitches. I'm going to beat off in their car. I'm I mean, just I, trying to figure out why anybody would even think that, let alone I, I don't the know. reasoning behind it. And so it boggles and baffles me. It's a boggling thought. That's when I saw it, the story. I was like, Yeah, I'm whoa. dumbfounded at the whole thing. I mean, whoa. Yeah, that's, I, that's crazy. That's just... <laughs> I mean, when you're like, when you're 14 right. and you're a guy, like the urge happens, but I've never wanted to break into a car and do right, it. Right, right. I mean, just go somewhere so, private. I don't, Lock the bathroom door or something. Take a shower. I don't know. Yeah. Don't I don't, it's just a car. weird, one of those things I came across and I was like. What state was that in? Did it say? I don't ever write the states down because I don't want to offend a state. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I didn't know if it was like in Oklahoma. We have enough crazy stuff no, here. No, it was There's enough crazy to here. go worldwide, so you never know. Yeah, I mean, it There's wasn't here. Everywhere. So, Well, that's a bonus. That's I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> wow. Hey, real no, quickly, I, I would like to uh, say congratulations to the... OSU Cowboy fans for beating up on that uh, one Did they Division ever? A high school team. Oh my god! It, it's a joke. They played like a kindergarten. They could school. have put in their third string, yeah, fourth string, yeah, so. and still just. I know. Hey, Val's here. Them. Val's in the hizzy. Hey, Val. She lives in a town called Sandwich. I want to live there so bad. <laughs> I belong in a town called Sandwich. You do belong in a town called Sandwich. Yes, you do. Coming up on the uh, next segment, we're going to talk about... Uh, the, this is a, a brilliant way. A man came up with a new way to uh, avoid the police huh? who, who were going to arrest him. This man broke a law, uh, and he has an awesome, an awesome way to uh, keep the police away. Okay. I'll tell you about that. All so. right. Stay tuned. So we got... We got uh, Sandwich listening, Val. We got Rob Ways in the Carolina. We got Massachusetts. We got Becca here in Oklahoma. People all over Teresa Bond here in Tulsa. We got people from all over the place listening right. to the Metal Moose, including all of the people on the radio stations. Are um, we're going to announce one of the affiliates right now, and that's Epic FM down in Houston, Texas. Thanks for carrying the Metal Moose Radio Show. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the people that are listening. Make sure and find us at www.themetalmoose.com. You can find every show we've ever made right there on the website. Almost three years of radio. Yeah, getting there. Almost three years. Almost three years. We'll see ya. If you ain't covered in Cheeto dust, then you just ain't listening right.
with the latest in high octane metal, Metal Moose. You've been weighed, you've been measured, you've been found wanting, Metal Moose. With the latest in high octane metal, Metal Moose. Visit them on Facebook at Metal Moose Radio for weekly podcasts and more up to date information and events. Metal Up, Metal Moose. So Squirrel is looking for information right now. You can win not only tickets to Moose Fest, but you can also win tickets to a country show here in Oklahoma City at your mom's place. Go ahead. What is it? Yeah, it's tickets to Lauren Walker Madsen on Sunday, September the 18th. 
And it's at your mom's place. Right. And the way you win tickets to that is you send Squirrel a picture at 424-666-7356. It needs to be a creative picture of you doing something with a cowboy hat, wearing it, balancing it on something, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Send something that picture like up. that. Just well, be creative. You know, you can have your, your pets in it or, you know. We will announce the winner of that next week. Uh, Shauna, I think it's Teresa's Bond, Teresa Bond's granddaughter or niece or something, um, is a big fan of the show, so I'm giving her a shout out right oh, now. Great. Thank you, Shauna. You rock. I don't think you're old enough to be at Moose Fest, but maybe I'll get to meet you one of these days. <laughs> so this guy, um, I, it doesn't. I don't remember what crime it was that he committed, but uh, the police are chasing after him. They finally apprehend this guy. So instead of resisting arrest in the normal fashion, he craps his pants. <gasps> yeah. He just like he let just it go. takes a dump. Right in his pants. Ooh. Right, to try to keep the police away from him. Did it work? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, when I was in law enforcement, you took them in no matter what, and they're going in it's the cell. It's just kind of brilliant. I mean, it's it, it's built How in. How is that brilliant? That's disgusting. That is dumb because you're going to be sitting in the back of their car. Okay, first of all. Yeah, now, your cop car is going to stink. You have to put your hands on them. You. What if you have to strip okay. search that person? Okay. Nasty. Okay. okay. What okay. up, Toby? Okay, I'm Toby just, from I'm just kind of. That's just gross. Why would you do that to yourself or do it? Well, you don't want to. You you want to get. You're a, still going to get arrested. It I'm just, makes just it saying more the guy took a more dump. Disgusting. I don't know. Maybe that's, you need some peanuts to snack on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Oh wow! No, I don't think that would have worked. It would have been. So yeah, the guy took a dump to try to keep the cops off of him. Is there a fire extinguisher around? You can like a fire hose or something. I mean, you can wash listen. Hose. What if I'd you be were, taking a garden hose and washing him off? What if you were on the, a date with the hottest guy <gasps> that you knew, and he he accidentally squeezed one off in your car? <gasps> and I'm not talking about a fart. I'm just, what if he, you know, if he crapped his pants? Yes. If he is it over? Um, way <laughs> way over. over. Like restraining order, way over. So Keanu Reeves is in your car. He's okay. Stop bringing up my man. He's not going to do that. You he don't would, know. Sometimes it I happens. Know. He's not my no. That's not going to happen. So I was. It happens. Has it happened to you? Have you been in a car and you crapped in someone's car? No, no. You just but said it happens. Like it, it happens all the listen, time. Listen, the other the other night, I was really, really, really happen. upset with my stomach. So I drank a <laughs> bottle of that. That stuff, the oh, it, the, the clear liquid magnesium stuff, cyclic. yes, chloride yeah. or whatever, magnesium. Yeah. yeah, it was one of those. I got to go right now. Moments. It happens sometimes. And so you crap your pants. No, I didn't crap my pants, but I mean, just okay. But that's the, what if you I drink the go stuff moment. before you go on a date, and then you're like, whoa. I... Well, then that's when you stop and you find somewhere to go. You oh. don't just crap your. Excuse pants. me, can you pull over like immediately? Because I'm about to dump in your car. That would be much better than actually doing the act of <laughs> Just, in my car. Yes, we're talking about taking a crap in a car. Oh, my god! It's the Metal Moose Radio Show. You can hear us on Boston Rocks Radio. You can hear us on Two Local Radio. You can hear us on Epic FM Radio, Indie Rage Radio, Pure Rock Radio. We're on a bunch of radio stations. Almost every one of them. And you can also find us at www.themetalmoose.com. You can buy your tickets to Moose Fest right there at uh, themetalmoose.com. There are eight Dollars, eight bucks, five bands, amazing time. I buy coffee that's about eight bucks. Right, so it's a really cheap show. You're going to get to see awesome, awesome man, uh, Machine of the Mountain. You just can't; those guys are unbeatable. This will be their third Moose Fest, actually. But everybody oh, else that's playing has never played us. a they Moose Fest. Us. Yeah, they're awesome. They're a great band, so why not? Erin Ivan says she's done a lot in the car, but she's never taken a dump. See, that is not a common thing. Yeah, I don't know no. that it's a common thing, but she's saying she's done a lot of things in a car. What are you trying to tell us, Aaron? She jacked a car. <laughs> she jacked a car. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Bang. That's what happened. It's the Metal Moose Radio Show at www.themetalmoose.com. Find us on YouTube, iTunes, Mixcloud, Spreaker, Pinterest, Stitcher, Stitcher LinkedIn. And now we got to go. We'll see you in just a few minutes. More metal. <laughs> With the latest in high octane metal, Metal Moose. You've been weighed. You've been measured. You've been found wanting. Metal Moose. With the latest in high octane metal, Metal Moose.
Visit them on Facebook at Metal Moose Radio for weekly podcasts and more up-to-date information and events. Metal Up. Metal Moose.
Take my skin till my body falls Take my life but never my soul It's too late to cry It's the Metal Moose Radio Show, and right now you're saying to yourself, I was on Facebook and I saw this crazy guy talking about pooping in cars and talking about the Metal Moose. How do I listen to this at my house? How do I get this on my phone? (laughs) You can get it on iTunes. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it on Stitcher, Spreaker, Mixcloud at the website, www.themetalmoose.com. You can subscribe to it on iTunes. It just downloads to your phone automatically. Yeah, every week. So, uh, it's the Metal Moose Radio Show at the Moosehead Studios inside the Oklahoma City Music Box in Oklahoma City. Um, And so, this one actually did write the state down because it's a state story. Oh, no. The state of Maine made a mistake. Maine? uh, Yeah, the state of Maine, which is one of the most beautiful states I've ever been to in my life. Um, Somebody just said I became a decoration. I don't know. I don't even know what that means, but thank you. Um, <laughs> they, they changed their number for food stamps. So when you were calling in to get your food stamp or to report or however that works, I don't know. I've never been on food stamps. I haven't either. But so. they changed their number. The phone number. Right. So they okay. sent out you know letters to everybody. Here's your new phone number, how to get your stuff. And right. We'll talk about how that ended up here in just a minute. But I, I have a feeling that didn't end up going well. It's a very interesting story in Maine. Wow. So we've talked about pooping your car. We've talked about setting yourself on fire. We, we, uh, we've, we've got some really diverse topics we, tonight. And Smash has joined us now. She's in the uh, chat. Hey, Smash. With She's everybody my else, other so. host on Hell Raisin Honky Talk Show. Yeah, for those of you uh, who are into the country thing, you can hear a country show called the Hell Raisin Honky Tonk. Just find, look it up on Facebook. With Squirrel and Smash. It's Squirrel and Smash. They talk about men and country stuff. And me trying to find a date. And yeah, we so we really do need to talk about that more. That you're looking, you're taking applications. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. Taking applications now to date the squirrel. Yeah, applications. If you want to date the squirrel, like step number one is you have to be able to ride a mechanical bull for eight straight seconds. <laughs> uh, and that's that's a pretty hard. Oh, I don't think that's really the criteria. Oh, what is the criteria? Tell them. Tell the men out know. there what they need to do. I think I should be surprised the first week, and then we'll go from there. Buck Wild just joined. He wants to know. I'm sure Buck Wild does not want to know. What he has it takes. an awesome shirt. It says "Free Mustache Rides." <laughs> so Buck Wild is interested in what he needs to do to oh, date wow. Squirrel. Wow, I like this shirt idea. Um. <laughs> I'm just saying that guys listen to this show for you. Wow. I don't I it's all about the music and you. I don't even really exist. Oh, I'm that's not true. That is not true at all. Uh so anyway, yeah. Um we're going to talk about so Maine, if you live in the state of Maine, recently they changed their phone number for the food stamp program, right? Right. So I guess apparently you have to call uh, maybe it's just the line that you call to try to get them. Yeah, like probably their main number to the. Something, but I, I remember something. in the story it said that they mailed out like you know like thousands and thousands of letters, and here's our number. Well, the problem is is that the number that they changed it to was actually a gay sex line. <gasps> it was not. Yes. Yes. So nobody decided to do like to check the to number. To check the number. Right. So they printed these out and said, oh my. I mean, I understand. Well, you know what? Some, they just increased their numbers. Right I there. understand that people wow. are calling for sausage, but <laughs> I mean, I just, <laughs> wow. I'm going to bring home the bacon. Being, bringing home the bacon, oh baby. Oh my gosh. So I don't, it didn't wow. give the number. I wish it would have, so we could have called it. But No, I, no. Well, yeah. That would have been kind of funny. That would have been very, very interesting. Well, we could Google it real quick. Ah no, let's not do that. I don't. I don't need the state of Maine trying to sue me. Anyways, guys, it's the wow. Metal Moose Radio Show. Catch us online at www.themetalmoose.com. It is eight fifty-seven p.m. in the Central Standard Time. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more music from a band called Moana. If you ain't covered in Cheeto dust, then you just ain't listening right.
rubber chickens. <laughs> yeah, why why even play around? Let's just get it done. It's the Moose on the Metal Moose Radio Show with Squirrel. And it's right here at the Oklahoma City Music Box. We love for people to come to the studio. If you'd like to come hang out in the studio with us while we do the show, we have it's pretty time. cool. And I'm just going to be up front with you. It's $10. We, we ask for $10 because this show's run on donations. Um, we have to pay for the studio. We have to pay for the computers. we got to pay for the microphones. You get a signed bag of Cheetos. You get a signed bag of Cheetos. From the if squirrel you wanna, and the moose. If you want to throw in a $20 donation, you get you a get shirt. a T-shirt. So uh, just let us know if you want to come down sometime. We'd love to have you here. Um, so we're going to talk about this dude. Um, <laughs> oh, no. This guy came up with a really, really interesting way on how to make his marijuana more powerful. Powerful in what way? Like more potent, you know. More so potent. It's stronger. I do, I do know that there are different grades. Yeah, I don't, this, this isn't a grade thing. This is like something he decided to... Um, he so is it take, like bath salts versus something else to see if you actually turn into a zombie or? Well, it's just something just that he get high or something? put his weed into that he thought was going to make it stronger, and it's awesome. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, it's, great. I'm like, wow, uh, I was like, that guy is in serious okay, trouble. So what is it? Well, we can't talk about that right now. We're going to talk about Moose Fest again real quick. <laughs> so two years ago in November. Myself and Mrs. Moose and Mary Ann Hartman from Texas, who uh, was one of the original members of the Moose crew, um, and we still love her to death, but she decided she wanted to concentrate on school and our relationship and our family. So she's still part of the Moose crew. I can um, understand that. Um, but she is taking a break from the Moose. Anyway, we all showed up in Tulsa along with um, Devil Ray Scorpius was there. He's an old Moose crewer. Um, we had Dirty Crush, we had Machine in the Mountain, we had Seraphim, Southern Lush, and Pray For Me. Pray For Me came all the way from Tennessee to come play the show. Pray, um, did they pray for you? Uh, well, they didn't pray for me. They spanked me in the ass oh, on the stage. Oh, that's the one. Right. That's the one. Okay. So uh, it was an amazing time. It was still to this day like my favorite Moose Fest was Moose Fest Tulsa. Um had a really good time. So we're going to do it again October 1st, 2016 at the Downtown Lounge. If you'd like to win tickets to the Moose Fest show, all you got to do is send a picture to 424-666-7356 of a creative way that you can write the word moose on your body somewhere. I think if you have like a hairy chest, you could like wax the word moose in there and then rub yourself down with Cheeto dust and then Cheeto maybe, dust is maybe always like encouraged. Put bacon somewhere on you. You could spell moose with bacon on your body. Yeah, or whipped cream. Hey, now or that's something. we're pushing limits. Chocolate sauce. I this is all caramel, you because I I have a wife who will kill me. <laughs> so if you want to do the cheesecake or chocolate sauce, those need to go to squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel at the metal moose dot com. Just send them on hey, over. Hey, they could they could wax squirrel in their chest. They could. They could. <clears throat> but we're working on moose this week. What if they? So right, yeah. So we're trying not to get divorced moose, here. Be creative. Um, send it to moose. Creative. Just write the word moose with with what food. What if they got or, their hair? Like, if they shaved moose in their if head, they shave their head and put moose in their head. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal right here on the radio show. If somebody shaves the word moose. In any place on their body that's covered in hair, uh-huh. yeah, I'll give you a backstage pass. <laughs> backstage pass, you shave the word moose on your body somewhere in your hair. Shave backstage or pass. wax. Like if it's chest yeah. hair, oh, you have to man. wax. Oh, man, waxing. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, shave, wax, same thing. Maybe you could shave like moose antlers into your back hair. Oh, Wow. <laughs> I think I just threw up. Okay. Well, hey, if you want to hear the Metal Moose on a radio station near you, you can check out Panama Rocks Radio. You can check out Reach Down Radio. I've uh, what, what? I love that. <laughs> Reach Down Radio? <laughs> Every time you say that, it throws me off. She's a big, and then NGFY <laughs> as well. Lots of radio stations out there, uh, including XRP over in England and Contact United, uh, United Rock Nations in France. It's, uh, it's pretty big. It is. That's what she said. We're kind of important. We're kind it's of the Metal deal. Moose, and you're damn right it's big. Get loose with the Moose.
So this man steals a brain that's in formaldehyde from a science uh, thing at a college, right? So he breaks into the whatever it is. Right. Okay. So he steals a brain. He steals a brain and he soaks his weed in the formaldehyde, <gasps> hoping that- With we'll, the brain. With the brain. With the brain. So weed, formaldehyde, and brain. Yes. Did, and he thought that was going to be better? I, Did it work? I, Did I it work? think the Keebler elves are having sex in the hallway right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. I so, don't know what that noise is. Either. Yeah, this dude like soaks his weed in formaldehyde. Wow. And and he's trying to make it more strong. But unfortunately, he got busted for stealing the brain. And then, of course, when they found the brain, brain. they found the weed in it. So, he's so in, it just amplified and stacked up charges against him. Right. So Wow. I don't... So kids, don't uh, don't, don't soak do your weed in formaldehyde no. and brain. It's not worth it. It's not a smart thing to do. <laughs> but a ching, but a ching. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Where do these people come from? I I I think Buck Wild may have what? soaked weed in formaldehyde at some point in time. Isn't there formaldehyde like in crack or something? I mean, I don't even know. Is what there it, formaldehyde in crack? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what. I'm not a drug user. I d- so I've, I've I, never I smoked don't crack. I've never done any. I've never smoked weed. I've never smoked crack. I've never injected anything, inhaled anything, nothing. Yes, I am boring. Thank we you very uh, much. we all noticed that at <laughs> Moose Fest. Shush your mouth. <laughs> Shush we, your mouth. We, we are, saw how much of a heavyweight you are. Yes. W- yes. Moose Fest Tulsa. I will be good. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> right. She, I will be good. I will drink water. Teresa Bond <laughs> said that somebody should shave the letter M in their armpit hair. That's pretty awesome. Uh, you get a backstage wow, pass. You shave. You, you could. Yeah. You could. You could. I. That would be a guy thing because I don't have any armpit hair. You could grow it out for a couple no, weeks. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm no. Good. Nope. 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 Just nope, stubble, nope. and then you could like. Nope. No, I have to shave my legs every day. I cannot stand stubble. Toby Stell says you're missing out on so much. I I think he's talking to you and your drug usage. I'm, I'm sure he is. Probably. 
He's definitely talking to me. I, I you know, I'm not going to talk about my past experiences with um, adult I'm, Adult things. things. But yeah, I've just never experienced any of that. I mean, I have many friends who have, you know, here and there. And what is, are you stuff. scared of it or are you just not again the break in the law? Break in uh, the law. Break in the law. law. Yeah, that's exactly the first one that came to my head. Yeah. Um, a little bit of that, yeah. Mostly scared because I like my brain to be in control. I don't like to go. You don't want to lose bodily function? No, I'm not into that. No, I you know don't. that there are actual like pills though and narcotics that are made to uh, emphasize certain things like taste and things. I mean, would you ever consider that? What if you were going to eat? Mean? Like, let's say you were going to go to an extremely fancy restaurant that's supposed to have like the best food in the world, and somebody said, "Here, I want you to take this. It's going to make your food better." Would you do that? No. Why? No. Because but if I'm just they can't saying, cook I mean, the food and make it taste that good anyway, why would they take a pill? That's what a lot of people do it for, is the enhancement of things in their life. I, you, I wouldn't do it at a restaurant, no. I'm just, it's just one of those, it's one of those things I'm I've asking never, that because... I've just never really been drawn to it or excited to go, hey, let me try this, let me try that. Um, it, it brings me back to when they had the little thing at the Capitol a couple weeks ago where people were out there... Um, you know, picketing for legalized marijuana. Right. Did it not, like, was it not odd to you that there weren't a bunch of professors and parents out there? There was a bunch of people in Grateful Dead shirts. I mean, it's, <laughs> <laughs> who are you trying to fool there, buddy? It's not working. <laughs> so. right. right. But it did pass. Uh, well, Mary Fallon had to do something. Well, of course. So anyway, just had to throw that out there. Right, right. Hey, Just, man, Grateful Dead, and, like, I have glaucoma, man. I need it bad. <laughs> yeah, everybody Everybody, all of a sudden has glaucoma. <laughs> right, right. We yeah. all do. We all do. So I just, I just, anyway, I was just curious why it was that you had never done well, drugs I just, or... I've, I've went and witnessed some of the harder drugs destroy people's lives and their family, and so I've never Well, but really cars been a destroy people's lives. You drive a that car. That is true. That is true. But they're not illegal. Um, oh, but we, okay. but like marijuana, if it's legalized, you know, I mean, medical marijuana, I am, I'm not opposed to that at all. I've just not, ha, never had a desire to go, Hey, I need to smoke a joint or I need to have cannabis oil or whatever. I mean, I've just, I don't, okay, that's fair I don't enough. I was just curious. Marijuana is different because, why, why is it different? Because it has so many medicinal purposes, oh. but as far as like going out and doing crack or Coke or something like that, I, I see no. no not for me personally. I don't see anything for me. Now, if they want to do it, sure, go ahead. Okay. So you're. What, what if it was your mate? What if it? What if that's on the resume to date squirrel? I like to smoke weed. Um, that's their preference, and it depends on how they smoke and how much. Are they allowed to do it around you? Um. Just I, trying to help get you a boyfriend here. Right. Right. Um. I don't know. I don't know. It depends. Depends on the person. Right. I've never had anybody smoking around me, so I don't know. Okay. All right. I well, mean, like I, who I'm dating. Yeah. It's the so moose. We'd love to hear what you think about us. Uh, <laughs> would you smoke um, weed around Squirrel oh, if you well. could date her afterwards? And would you ride a mechanical bull for eight seconds? Because <laughs> I sure the hell wouldn't. I would die. <laughs> it's the moose. We'll be back with more metal here in just a minute. www.themetalmoose.com.
All right, guys, so we've come to the end of the show, the Metal Moose Radio podcast thing, radio show, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Wake up, kick ass, be kind, repeat, do it every day. Smile at somebody, it makes a big difference. Be cool to everybody, support each other. Do what you do, man. Be you and be good at it. Definitely. That's what you said. So you need to do something like clever like that, too, right now. Really clever, like right now, right now? Like you have, you know, like a minute left. I have a minute left to talk. Yeah. Or you come up with something like really clever. Yeah. Oh, don't put me on the spot like that. I hate that. Give us a call on the Moose line at 424-666-7356. Just leave us a message or you can even text. Yeah. You can text and ask me questions. Yeah, you can ask And see if it questions. is the winning question for me to date you. Yes, it could be the winning yeah. question. What questions do you want to know about Squirrel that you do not already know or can't find out from my page, my Facebook page? Uh, or Instagram or Twitter. I'm not touching it. You're not? Nope. Why not? I'm just saying you could get some crazy questions. I can. I hey, can. until yes. next week, it's the Moose and Squirrel <laughs> on the Moose. We'll see you. It's the Metal Moose, metalmoose.com.
reserved by the authors, their labels, or authorized representatives that permitted their material to be used. The Metal Moose holds no rights to any music played on the show. Go to TheMetalMoose.com and submit your music to be heard on the show. The Metal Moose accepts donations of money, Cheetos, bacon, and naked pictures. Thank you for tuning in and subscribe on iTunes. Rock out while you rock out and consider yourself moose.